Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do the weekly maintenance on the Vitros 5600. The materials you will need to do this project are uh, swabs, alcohol pads, Kim wipes, deionized water, can of air, and your micro sensor check fluids one and two. To begin, we'll go to the computer system here. You go to diagnostics, and it shows you a menu of your periodic maintenance weekly, and it gives you a list of all the things, all the checklists you'll have to go through. First thing is to clean the microwell incubator. You open up the hood. Next, we're going to raise the luminometer. We're going to disengage the probes. And we're going to lift the incubator cover. And we're going to start by cleaning the microwell weight. Take that right out with, and just wipe it down with your cotton tip applicator with your deionized water. Next, we're going to disengage the micro well gears. And now we're going to remove the micro wells in order to clean each well. This is what the gears look like when they're removed, and now we will clean each individual well with the deionized water. And that's going to remove all the little white dust particles that accumulate in each well. And we're going to do this first because we want to make sure that they have time to dry by the time we put the put the rings back into the instrument. We don't want any humidity in there. The next step is to use a dampened Kim wipe or a lint-free cloth and wipe the inside of the incubator. Next, we wipe down the, the ring base. Next, we need to wipe down each lift pin. There are four lift pins. To get the lift pins to come up, we're going to go to Diagnostics, Meds, Incubators and Transports, Microwell, Lift Pins, and then there's each pin right there, Outer, Move It, go to Shuttle Out, and Start. And here we see one of the lift pins has been lifted. Oh, there's the second one right there. And we'll do this for all four. And then we'll clean them off. We'll put all four lift pins back into home. This will put them back into their original position. Next, we will clean off the, we will wipe down the incubator contacts, then the luminator contacts, there's three of them, and with a dry, lint-free cloth, the luminator bundle. Next, we will replace the rings, starting with the inner ring. Got a pause? There's three. Now we will re-engage the three gears. We'll place the cover back down and now clean, wipe down all of the entry, the entry ports with the cotton tip swab and deionized water. Next, you reposition the probes. Do not push them down and put the luminometer back into place. 
we'll come back and check off the microwell incubator and go down to the su sample supply. Next, we're cleaning the sample supply. We lift the middle hood and wipe, use a wet, lint-free cloth. We're going to wipe down the sample tray and the wipe down the retainer clips. Make sure you get the top and the bottom. And then we're wiping down the sample tray. And don't forget to wipe down the statling. Front cover gets lifted, and we finish wiping down the sample tray. We check off our clean sample supply, and we're going to go down to clean tip locator. Well, no, there are. Under the left cover, there's a leak pad. And under the middle cover, there's another leak pad. Under the right cover, there are two leak pads. So now we can check off clean tip locator and move on to clean dispense blade and sensors as well as the leak pads that we just did. And then, hold on. Next, you need to remove the tip locator. And the dispense blade cover. And so I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're removing okay. now the dispense blade. You ready? Turn the knob counterclockwise and the dispense blade comes out. We'll hold the dispense blade while you turn it until it's completely out. Next, you will use a toothbrush to clean the dispense blade. Then you wipe down the dispense blade covers. Next, we will clean off the tip locator. We'll clean out the guides. And make sure you clean out the rails and use a sharp object to clean the corners of the rails. Oh, wait, we gotta clean it. Next, clean the sensors under the tip locator. Now we replace the dispense blade, put it back into its slot, and we'll turn the knob clockwise until it clicks. You can pause it. Next, you replace the dispense tip cover and the tip locator. Now all that's left is to clean the touch screen monitor and keyboard and process the Vitros microsensor check fluids. And lastly, we would run the check fluids, but I'm actually not going to show you how to do that because uh, that actually has to do with